Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. Today, I'm gonna to be updating my Happy Planner Solar System table of contents. This is my dashboard um, for my entire solar system, and it outlines all 17 different planners that exist in my universe and kind of details the purpose, style, format, and theme for each one. And it's just a great spread for me to just kind of look at what I have and to just um, have like outlined an understanding of what each one does for me and what each one's role is. And it's a great spread to reference um, throughout the year, especially when you're deciding to um, start setting up your planner lineup for the coming year. It's a great spread to look back at and to see, you know, which ones you want to continue to keep and which ones you want to either get rid of or update or evolve or change. And I always have so much fun setting up this spread. And I usually tend to just set it up at, you know, once and, you know, not bother with it too much. But I have made significant amounts of changes since I started at the beginning of the year. And so I want to update this. I want to recreate this um, table of contents uh, to reflect all of the new evolutions that my solar system has gone through. And that way, um, you know, I can have an updated one. So if you're interested in seeing how I set up this particular table of contents, just keep on watching. So my solar system is an entire universe, and I like to think of my planners as planets that revolve around me, and each one has its particular purpose, and its particular environment, and its particular, you know, flora and fauna, and so the solar system like table of contents helps me organize all of my different planets together and this table of contents is in a literal table i mean it's a table of contents and i'm a data scientist and data scientists love a good table and so i have five different columns the first column is the number of the planet the second column is the purpose so that's what i'm using it for the third column is the style and that's the particular like aesthetic that the happy planner like gave to the planner so you know whether it's mickey whether it's colorful leopard or what have you that goes in here then it's the format which is the style i, I mean like um the uh like the actual structure of the planner so whether it's a vertical a horizontal a dashboard that goes in this column and then we have the theme which is the sticker theme that i try to stick with inside that planner and i like things to be organized and i also like having patterns within my data and so i like kind of picking a theme for each planner and sticking with that sticker theme throughout the month and throughout the year so for example my first planner is my academic planner that's my scientific research planner it's um currently it's a mickey mouse um, from the oasis collection and it's a dated vertical planner and i try to use only um, stickers from the oasis collection so that it's matchy matchy and my second planner is my adjunct uh, faculty position alongside my internship position within the graduate division and um, the style of the planner is seasonal doodles and the format is a color block vertical and the theme is a uh, pastel rainbow so that's just examples of you know how i fill out my table of contents and i started to like kind of try to update each like update it on this um spread so i didn't have to make a complete new one but while i was working with it and like trying to um white out like certain things it was just kind of getting a little bit messy and i didn't like it and i really like this spread so i want it to be really nice looking it's the first spread in my planner and so i didn't want to um have it looking kind of rough so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull out this page and i already have the um, blank page that i'm going to be using here and it's exactly the same um, filler page um, this one is from the disney mickey mouse oasis collection 
and it has these cute little dots along the spine. It has Mickey looking all cute there at the corner. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna spread undo all over this page because I still want to keep all of these stickers here. And so I'm gonna be transferring them over. Um, and, and yeah, just, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna grab my tweezers. I'm gonna spill undo over all of this and transfer over the stickers. Well, honestly, what I might do first is set up the table itself. And before I write in it, I'll transfer the stickers. So I'm gonna do that right now and I will speed up the process and I will see you um, on the other end. Awesome. Did you see how easily all those stickers just came off the sheet? Undo is black magic witchery. Like it even separated um, these two pages that I had glued together. It's so amazing. That thing is just absolutely wonderful. Highly recommend it. Um, I was resisting it for the longest time because it just seemed like such a hassle and so much work to do But it honestly is so amazing and I just salvaged all of these stickers From this sheet over to it the new sheet. So I'm really happy um, That I could do that and I'm actually really happy it separated the two um, The two sheets I had glued together because that way I can glue this um, back to this one here. So I'm really happy it did that. And then I could even continue to save this piece of paper and work on the back here. But I don't know if I wanna do that. So now I have it set up and I actually also have um, two sticker books here, Miss Maker and this um, crafty sticker book from Sweet Kawaii Design that I was thinking of pulling for some of these um, some of these stickers. I don't know if this uh, this like design goes with the rest of it, but I'm just gonna add this little washi tape here. I think the washi tape is so cute. I'm just gonna color the top up here. And um, last time I just colored everything one color, but I think this time I'm going to use a couple of different colors just to differentiate the sections more. So a couple of purples, a light blue, a yellow, and maybe a pink here. And you know what I think would be fun? I think it would be fun to color um, every other row so that it kind of is a little bit more differentiated. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Awesome. So now I'm going just to write, so now I'm going to just write at the top the um, category. So number goes here. Um, what else did I put? A purpose. And I'm gonna put the old one over here so I can reference it. And actually now is the time that if I wanna rearrange how these are like, uh, in how these are like formatted in my Happy Planner solar system. Cause again, I'm very matchy matchy and I like having the planners in the exact order that the table of contents like says that they are in. So I have, um, the 17 planners arranged exactly in this order in my planner, like in my mega planners, my Franken planners. And I added the 17th planner kind of like last minute. I was not expecting to add a 17th planner to my lineup, but my partner really wanted to have a relationship planner with, uh, with me. And so it was really cute. I couldn't say no. And so I added it as my last planner and it's the very last planner in my solar system. And sometimes I feel kind of funny like having it, um, 
at the very back because it is my relationship and I want to like prioritize my relationship. So I think I'm actually gonna move that one up a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna move it up to be my, um, my number 10 planner and then move everything down a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, so now I'm just gonna write, like transfer over everything over here um but i'm gonna like update the things that i need to update so let me uh write down the numbers first so i have 17 different planners i know that's a lot but uh for me i love it it works i'm having a blast um and yeah, you just have to dedicate time to maintaining the planners and also you just have to embrace per imperfection and, um, you know, not, not trying to uh, have every single, you know, inch in your planner be perfect because there's no way it's going to be perfect if you are, you know, juggling so many planners. And for me, the planners are more like motivation, inspiration, vision boards, um, and it's less about making each spread beautiful than it is about making it functional, um, really using them to motivate you and to organize your life and to inspire you. And so I feel like my planning style is much less um, like design focused. Um, I'm less concerned about having a beautiful planner spread. And I actually do not consider my spreads to be very pretty or, you know, inventive or original but I do consider them to be extremely functional. And when I, that's what I want. Like I am not trying to have 17 planners in order to, you know, have 17 planners. I have, I have 17 planners because I'm using each and every one to further like a goal that I have in my actual real life. Like I want them to I want my planners to help me achieve whatever my goal is. Um, that whatever the planner's goal is, I'm trying to work towards seeing that goal realized in my actual life. So again, I'm less concerned about it looking pretty than I am concerned about it being functional and useful and relevant. And honestly, I think I can handle this many planners because of my particular lifestyle. Like I am an independent single woman. I don't have any children. And also I have a job that affords me relative freedom. I set my own schedule, in other words. Um, there are some times I do need to be somewhere at a specific time, like when I teach classes. But again, I'm a university adjunct um, and a grad student. So it's like, I tend to make my own schedule. Probably more importantly, I am a data scientist and I'm very used to handling huge amounts of data. We're talking terabytes of data that normal laptop computers can't even handle. Like I do work on supercomputer clusters and things like that. I'm very, very used to organizing, handling, manipulating, analyzing immense amounts of um, data. And honestly, I feel like every single person who is a planner person is a data scientist. If you have a planner, and especially if you have multiple planners, you have the makings and tendencies of an actual data scientist. Because although we don't think about it in this way, like the stuff that we put into a planner is data. Again, this is my life, this is my work. Um, I'm very used to data organization. And so I think that's another reason why I'm able to handle so many planners um, effectively because I just, I love working with huge data sets and 17 different planners is a form of a data set, a huge data set. So that all being said, I'm gonna start writing down um, the planners. So the first planner, I'm going to call this my science planner. I called it my academic planner um, over here, but I'm just going to call it my science planner because that makes more sense to me. It is my graduate research, my scientific research that I am conducting currently. And I just updated this planner. It is no longer a simple Mickey Mouse planner. It's now Oasis Mickey Mouse. So I'm going to write Oasis Mickey Mouse here. And let's see, I think I'm going to write Oasis up on the top and then Mickey Mouse. 
The format is a vertical. It used to be an undated vertical, but now it's just a vertical. So I'm just gonna write vertical. And then the theme, the sticker theme that I wanna stick with in this planner is Oasis Mickey Mouse. So I'm just gonna write that here. So that one's not going anywhere. The second planner is gonna be my higher education planner. So I'm gonna write that here, higher education. And this is my two part-time positions I'm currently in, a communications internship with the graduate division at UC San Diego, as well as adjunct faculty position at the University of San Diego. So um, the, they're both kind of positions in higher education. So I just am kind of lumping both of them together into this one planner. The style is seasonal doodles. So I'm gonna write here seasonal on the top seasonal and then doodles on the bottom seasonal doodles and the format is color block vertical so i'll write that color block vertical and the theme is pastel rainbow so i'll write that pastel rainbow And I might have to use a thinner pen because I feel like I'm running out of room when I'm writing. So I'm gonna switch to this thinner pen. So the next planner in my lineup is science communication. So this is more like outreach and service work that I do to advance um, public education. So I'm just gonna write so science communication and abbreviate it. And I also changed up this planner. So right now the style is colorful dogs. I used to use the neutral blush, which was a dashboard. Now I'm, I switched that to colorful dogs, which is a vertical. And the theme is a uh, colorful dogs right now. <laughs> the theme isn't completely clear. I Right now I'm using colorful dogs. Um, as a because to match the colorful dogs planner but i don't think i'm gonna use the colorful dogs sticker book every single month so i'm just gonna say um, bright and i don't know honestly bright and whimsical yeah i think i'm gonna go with bright and whimsical bright plus whimsy whimsical there, bright and whimsical. So that's kind of like open-ended. Um, I do wanna go with bright and whimsical spreads in there. Right now I'm using the colorful dogs, but I could be using you know anything that's bright and whimsical. The fourth planner is my world news. I'm gonna keep that one as world news. And this one, there's no change to it. Um, so, so far two of them changed, one of them didn't. This world news, didn't as well. The style is colorful leopard. The format is lined vertical. And the theme is uh, um, colorful leopard. Well, mm, yeah, colorful leopard. Well, the theme is animal print. I would say animal print. So the sticker books that I like using in this particular uh, planner are the Colorful Leopard sticker book, the Wild Style sticker book. Um, if I had Modern Wild, I would use that one. Anything that has that kind of like animal print um, kind of aesthetic is what I'm using in this planner. And I think there's a Recollections one called Wild Styled that I also like using in this one. So there's that one. The fifth planner is my Spiritual planner, my faith planner. And this one, I also changed up how I was uh, using it. So the style is now um, faith. I don't know exactly what the name of the planner is, but it's a faith planner and um, faith format. And the theme is, um, let's see, the, the theme is faith and Astro. 
So this one's my spirituality planner and I switched over to a faith planner because I was kind of not really feeling the color block vertical I was in and I felt like going into a faith planner that had like room for writing was going to help me out and inspire me and it definitely has um, inspired me again. And the theme that I'm going for here is faith stickers and astrological type stickers because again I'm very like multi-faith and I do practice a lot of like Wicca and just different pagan traditions and rituals and so having a lot of like that ast astrological like um, aesthetic in this particular planner is really um, relevant to me. The sixth planner is my fitness planner and the style is uh, the yoga one. It's the one with like the yoga poses as the dividers. The format is just a regular fitness and the theme is just fitness. I don't really have like a particular theme in here besides it being a fitness. Okay, and then the seventh planner is wellness. The style is the um, Your Golden. That's the name of the planner. It says Your Golden on the front. And the format is a wellness planner and the theme is uh, self-care so i've used a lot of mood tracking stickers in there i use wellness warrior in there i use um what else do i use um digital detox i use that one in there as well so that's my wellness planner i haven't changed that one okay moving on to my household planner I actually just changed this one up too. So I um, changed up what I was using. I was using a Mickey Mouse dashboard. Now I'm using the neutral blush dashboard. Um, so I took that from my science communication planner up here and I moved it down to my household. So neutral blush dashboard, dashboard and the theme is farmhouse. I love me a good farmhouse theme and for me my household is like my little farmhouse so farmhouse theme for that and then my ninth planner is my meal planner meal planner and the style is um i'm not sure what that one is called it's the one with the bowl of oatmeal uh, at the on the front i'll just put food photo Food photography. The format is a meal planner and the theme is food. I'll put a bunch of food stickers in it so pretty simple. Okay and then I'm gonna move my relationship planner up to my 10th planner so the purpose is relationship. This is my boyfriend's idea. He wanted to have a relationship planner because he knows how much I love planning and crafting and he wanted to be part of it. God bless him. God bless his heart, his soul. He wanted to, you know, be in on the fun. And he just wanted to show me that he, you know, wanted to be part of my crafting life as well. So he suggested getting a relationship planner. So he has a planner. I have the planner, we have the exact same planner. It's the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse planner. It's the one where Mickey and Minnie are on the front like putting their hands into little heart shape. So it was perfect as a couple's planner. So I'm gonna put Mickey and Minnie for the style. The format is an undated vertical. Oh, actually. So I actually changed this up. Um, so I'm still using the Mickey and Minnie dividers but i decided to use my color block vertical that i got rid of from spirituality yeah i was using this painterly pastel color block vertical for spirituality when i got my faith planner i ended up having that planner be um just kind of extra and because this mickey and minnie has um undated vertical pages and the painterly pastels is dated i figured that i could just use the guts of the painterly pastel and then set aside the undated vertical pages for like another day or another year 
And that way I'm continuing to use something that's dated for this year and I don't have to date it. And I also, um, like I can use it in the year that I'm, you know, using it. Like I don't mind redating things, but I'd rather not. So this is actually a color block vertical now. So this was a complete Franken planner. <laughs> and the theme is, um, the theme is love. I just like, you know, uh, putting stickers of cute, lovey things. Okay, moving on to the next one. This is my garden planner. The style is sweet succulents. The format is undated vertical. And the theme is garden. Pretty simple and straightforward. I just use the gardening sticker books and just different like flower and plant stickers. And yeah, that's just my garden planner. And then my 12th planner is budget. And right now I'm using the bright budget um, planner. And this one is just a budget planner. And the theme is um, just budget. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. This one's really functional. I don't decorate it that much. I just use it very functionally. And then my 13th planner is gonna be my four lizard planner. So this is my um, YouTube and social media. And I actually also just changed this one up. So I had the jungle vibes uh, color block for this section. And then I picked up a Miss Maker checklist vertical um, on clearance at Joann's. And I thought that was super relevant for my channel because this channel is very crafty and the theme is going to be uh, crafty. So I'm really excited. That Jungle Vibes uh, color block vertical was uh, really nice. I did really enjoy that one, but something about the gray color block vertical just isn't the best. Like if I do like color block verticals, but I prefer them to have lighter colors for the the shading, the shaded boxes and the weekly. And like the painterly pastels is nice in that way, but when it's that deep gray shaded box in the color block vertical, it just doesn't look that nice in my opinion. So um, I'm glad to move away from that one. My 14th planner is my social planner. So this is like my scrapbook. I'm using the uh, floral in bloom uh, planner. It's a vertical style, pretty classic. And the theme is, it varies because it's my scrapbook. It's my memory keeper. So I just decorate it as like, how it is, uh, I just decorate it to be relevant to whatever I'm trying to, you know, memory keep. And then I have my journal. I'm gonna call this my creative journal. And this one is the pressed florals. It's a horizontal. And the theme here is floral. I'm going for a floral theme. Uh, floral and also doodle, by the way. Uh, I do like putting doodle stickers in there. And then my 16th planner is my uh, reading journal. So I'm just gonna put reading. The style is the marabou design. It's a horizontal and the theme is bookish. So I use book stickers from the Happy Planner and any other book type things that, um, that I can find. And lastly, we have my last planner. This is my Japanese planner. Um, the style is uh, Oasis, Mickey Oasis. Uh, so I'm just going to put Oasis, Mickey Mouse. This is a verti lined vertical. And the theme is kawaii. I have a bunch of kawaii stickers 
that uh, I like putting in there. And this is, I'm learning Japanese right now. I'm trying to learn my characters and be able to read and write in Japanese. So that's my little Japanese workbook. And that is it. We have finished the setup of my Happy Planner Solar System, a table of contents. I really like how it turned out. I think it looks super cute. Um, I hope you had fun, um, you know, watching me do this. And I hope that things don't change beyond this. I feel really happy and comfortable with my current layout or with this particular layout. So I don't expect things to change. Um, at least for another, you know, couple of months. I'm gonna try to stick with this particular like setup though, because I don't want to continue to like change this table of contents every three months. You know, I'm open to changing it, um, maybe again in like July, but I'm gonna try to stick with this one. We'll see how it goes. All right, everyone, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Let me know how many planners you are currently using in your lineup and how it is working for you. Also, please share any tips that you have for maintaining multiple planners. And uh, thank you once again for stopping by and spending some of your time here with me today. And um, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.